Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. So I realized recently that I've been doing this YouTube thing for about four months now and I haven't even introduced myself properly to you guys. You probably don't even know who I am. So I thought in today's video, I would just do a little quick get to know me video so you can learn all of the things that make me special. That sounds very self-indulgent, but I promise. I think it'll be a really cool video. If you do enjoy this video or any of my other ones, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe down below because I make new videos twice a week and I think they're a lot of fun. If you do enjoy that, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe down below and let's just get onto the video. A few basic questions to start this off. My name is Lainey Chloe. I'm 23, but I'm going to be 24 in just under two months, which is insane. I don't think I'm ready, but I don't think anyone ever really, really ready. I live in Perth, Western Australia and I've lived here my whole life. My favorite thing about where I live is just how diverse and insanely beautiful it is. It's not a part of the world that a lot of people people come to but oh my gosh it's honestly my favorite place you've got the CBD which is quite large <laughs> not compared to like New York or anything but it is large so you still have that business aspect but you've also got so much nature and nature really really close to the city you've got you know beautiful spaces within 20 minutes of driving you've got natural natural reserves and you've got the most incredibly beautiful beaches ever what university did I go to so there are only five universities I believe in WA for my undergraduate I went to Murdoch University and that was for three years and then for my postgraduate I went to UWA which is the University of Western Australia. So I studied a lot I feel like for my short life so in my undergraduate I went I did a double degree my first degree was in tourism and events management and my second degree was in web communications and that was a three-year course and then after that I did my postgraduate a grad dip which is a one-year course and I did that in strategic communications where do I work what do I spend my days doing I work for a shared office space provider in the Perth CBD and I've worked there for about 18 months now so I'm on the community team there so we really focus on customer relations and building a supportive network within in our building. I was the events specialist but now that's just my speciality that's what I enjoy so I plan a lot of events for members and just supply that different element to the workday for our members and that's something I really enjoy. What's my dream job? What's my favorite thing about working for my job or working in the city? And I think my favorite thing about working in the city is just how central it is. I love the city atmosphere. I'm not a very busy person. I don't like crowds of people or anything, but I love that I'm so close to everyone. I'm close to my friends who work in completely different careers and different jobs but I can catch up with them before work, after work, for lunch even. I love that it's so convenient to go out after work because a lot of people go out in the city. So the next question is what do I want to do in life? And I don't really have a big career goal in that aspect. I know a few paths that I would like to take and there are things that I'm actively working on such as my YouTube, I would love to start a podcast, I would love to open my own business, an online store, a cafe, whatever I would like. But my biggest life goal is to achieve ultimate balance and that's not some hippie spiritual thing that nothing like that it's purely working doing what i enjoy doing but having the time off and i want to have that balance because i grew up in a family where my mum didn't work when i was a kid and my grandparents were around all the time and they were really young so i, I had really engaged family growing up and i thought that was so special and i'm so thankful for it and that's something i want to pass on to my kids I also want to be working, I don't just want to stay at home, so finding a way to do that is very important to me and if I achieve that, that will be the ultimate goal. Love event management, it's so cool to me and I love music. So my dream job was always to be a concert planner, concert organiser, tour organiser. I think that's so cool. I definitely could do it, but I think it's just something I like to keep in my mind. I've planned so many concerts in my head on paper from when I was a kid or a kid when I was in my early 20s late teenage years and I just think it would be so cool I really 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 want to one day plan a like greatest showman live show with heaps of celebrity guests I think that would be amazing but yeah you know if, and if there are any celebrities watching this Taylor Swift Harry Styles One Direction Ed Sheeran anyone hit me up because I planned many of your concerts already. <laughs> the next question is my biggest fear and I find this really hard because there are so many little things that I'm scared of like spiders and bugs, you know, the normal stuff. 
but I think really thinking about it I think my biggest fear is life and living which sounds really deep but honestly the honest truth is I really enjoy obviously I really enjoy living and I'm so lucky to live the life that I do but I'm petrified of all the things that come with living life if that makes any sense like I'm so scared of um, injuries or losing someone I love having heartbreak going through hard times all the little things in life that make life worth living just scare me and it takes a lot for me to do things out of my comfort zone like you know be in relationships and have really close friends because I I'm, in my soul, I'm scared that that's all going to get torn away and I know that would hurt more. It's a really weird fear, but that's definitely my biggest fear. <laughs> my favorite food and a drink. So my favorite, so I'm part Polish and my Nana always makes us, probably once a year makes us progies. I love progies. My favorite drink is, I really like the breakfast smoothie I'm having at the moment. It's just banana, spinach, peanut butter, berries protein powder and cacao powder and almond milk. I think that's amazing. Otherwise, I really like plain water. Like ice cold water is, oh, it's so good to me. I love it so much. But if we're talking alcoholic, I do love myself a gin and tonic. My least favorite food and drink. My least favorite food is probably seafood or eggs, which is weird. I like fish. I can eat fish like whiting or salmon, but anything like prawns or mussels, crab, anything like that, I just don't eat. And I don't like egg. I hate the texture of it and I don't like the taste. I My favorite color. I really like blues, like a nice pale blue or a teal color like my phone case or a eucalyptus -y green. I think they're really beautiful. Do you like to cook? I love to cook. I'm actually such a mum when it comes to being a domestic goddess. I love cooking, I love hosting, I love all of that. I'm even hosting a Friendsgiving with my friends two week, in two weeks time and I've told everyone specifically not to cook because I want to, which is perfectly sums up me and I love hosting. I just want to be a mum. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my favorite thing about my career is that it's just starting. I'm 23 and I'm already succeeding in my career. I'm doing more than I thought I would be doing at my age. You know, I, I sound like an old woman sometimes and I'm ready to do other things in my life, but I'm 23, my career is just starting and it can take me anywhere. The next question is, where's my favorite place in the world? What's your favorite place to go or what's your favorite place in the world? My favorite place in the world is actually just my house with my boyfriend and my cat. If it was rainy, we had a movie on and lots of food and we're just snuggling on the couch. There's nothing that makes me happier. My favorite place to travel to would be Japan. I've been there twice in two years and it's such a beautiful country. It's just so unique and it's so special and I really, really loved my time there. So um, my favorite TV show and movie. I'd say my number one favorite is Criminal Minds. I haven't watched it the full way through. I'm caught up to, I think season 10 or 11. I just haven't found the time to sit down and watch the rest, but I think I'll do that over Christmas. And then my favorite movie, I find really hard to pick. I think it's The Blind Side with Sandra Bullock. I just, it makes my heart so warm and I really enjoy watching it. Or The Proposal, which is also Sandra Bullock, but very funny. It's got Ryan Reynolds in it and it's something I genuinely try and watch quite often. Am I dating anyone? I am. I've been dating my partner Sam for about four years and he's the love of my life. Who are the people I rely on? And I really thought about this. I didn't want to be too specific because I don't want to, I guess, put anyone in the public eye when they don't want to be, but I rely on my friends and family more than they will ever know. And I find myself thinking all the time how lucky I am to have such a close community around me that help me to be the best person of myself who allow me to express my emotions and allow me to change and be different and do whatever I want but support me the whole time. The five things I can't live without. That's hard because there's so many things. I'd have to say Sam, my partner, my cat, my baking time on the weekend, my friends and family because they're just always there and they're so special to me. And I think number five would have to be my drive, the things that keep me passionate and wanting to do different things. So my most life-changing experience was actually my first breakup that was last year, very, very start of last year. And it was actually with my current boyfriend. So we were together for two and a half years and then we broke up for about three months and we've been back together for almost two years now, a year and a half. That was really hard because it wasn't because we didn't love each other. Honestly, because we needed to grow up and we needed to go through something hard. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? I would like to live in most countries of the world. I think it would be really interesting to go and not just travel and be there for a short period, but to actually experience life there. My ultimate goal, if I'm able to achieve financial freedom in that way, is I would love to own a van or an old school bus that's been renovated and camper van around every country in the world. What motivates me to 
work harder. And I think that's just the life that I want to live. I can't live that life being at home doing nothing. I need to work really hard to get that. And I'm going to work really hard and I'm going to achieve those goals. What made me want to start YouTube? So I have always wanted to start YouTube. I've got a lot of videos privated on my channel from when I was quite a lot younger. And I was just doing this because I thought it was fun. I truly didn't start making consistent regular content because I would get a few weeks in and then I would be scared that someone found my channel and I was embarrassed and I was scared of what they would say about me but I think I just got to a point I actually started my channel in lockdown and I just got to a point where I just thought I don't care anymore and it's still <laughs> I find it really strange when people do find my channel who know me in real life and I am still nervous but if they're gonna laugh at me they're not people I want in my life and this is just fun for me so why wouldn't I do it? And my last question is what's my favourite thing about YouTube? And I think my favourite thing is and will always be that it's just me. It's me and it's what I can build for myself and it's just fun. There's no like there's no one telling me what to do. Thanks so much everyone for watching this video. If you did enjoy please like and subscribe down below because I make new videos twice a week. I hope you enjoyed getting to know me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!